Greetings, beloved. I am putting out this short intro to a podcast that I just put up earlier today, and it's titled Psalm 36, 5 through 6, Nuggets of Truth, and other revelations, as well as a spontaneous song that I shared at the end of this video. I'm putting a two-minute clip from the podcast that, that I posted that you will get to listen to, but I would encourage you, if you could please take the time to listen to this message. It was given to me, as I said, a year ago, and as you know, that any messages and words that we receive from the Father, from the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, they are timeless, and yet they are very timely. Anything that the Father gives us, even his words, things that have been spoken prophetically, they are always, they always minister. They always, whatever we need at the time when we need it, even words that were written thousands of years ago are very appropriate for us and things that are, that are being fulfilled today, this time, at this generation, this last generation before our Messiah comes and reigns, sets up his kingdom. So I believe this message is one that will encourage you and help you as we are coming into some times, some very, very rocky, very difficult times. I'm going to put the link in the description below to the podcast. So if you just click, go to my description below, click on that link, it, it will bring you right to the podcast. I'm also going to put a link to the video. So if you, if you decide that you want to watch the video, instead of listening to the podcast, you, you will have that option. So please take the time to listen to it. And I do pray that it will encourage you and give you what you need and that you will be blessed. And I'm gonna be putting out more of these videos that, that the Holy Spirit had given me, given me quite a few messages in the past couple years that I feel it's time to put them out because many of you have not either you've heard them some time ago and you may not remember them or you haven't heard them at all so this will give you an opportunity as the Holy Spirit leads. I also have two new spontaneous songs I will be putting up shortly probably one in the next couple of days so be on the lookout for that. I pray that you are all blessed and that until the Father gives me another message or gives me something else to put out there, I bid you all shalom. That we are not worthy, as you said, Yeshua. We are not worthy to be your disciples, to be your followers. Those are the ones that are the wheat. The rest who will not forsake all to follow you. As Paul said, that I count everything loss that I may gain you, that I would count everything as dung compared to the surpassing knowledge of knowing you, being intimately involved and committed to you, that he may know you. And that is where we all need to be. That is the, that is I will have to say the greatest testing of our faith. Why he has chosen us at this last hour to go through this type of testing? Well, he spoke something to me, and I don't know, many of you won't be able to receive it, but some of you will. He told me, gave me a revelation and said, understand what this means. It does have other meanings, as he's already revealed to me that the last will be first. So those of us who are in this last, we are the last generation. We are the last before he comes. And because of what we're having to endure and what we're going to, do, to endure like no other time in all of history, that's why we are the last that will be first. And he said this to me too. You bring it to the Father in prayer, but I know what he said to me. And you can, you can take that for yourself as well because this is, what he said to me. He saves the best for last. 
That should give you encouragement. That should give you hope to hold on. That he would find you worthy and find me worthy at this time.